Welcome to the next mini lesson. This one is going to be on chapter 2, Venn Diagrams for the Conditional Portion. Let's go ahead and get started. This one is something you saw in class already. The conditional reads, if a person is a Texan, then they are an American. And we see the two circles here. This goes off the concept of sets and subsets, unions, intersections, which we need to cover more of before you hit Algebra 2. This inner part is the if part. It is our hypothesis. This outer part is the then. So we have our if part up here, our P, then Q. All right? And so this is also our P, and this is our Q. And all we're going to do is put the meat of it right here, just one word, Texan, and American will go right here. If the person is a Texan, then they're an American. If P, then Q. That's how we would read this. Now, there's a lot of people out there, so everybody from Texas is an American, but not all Americans are um, Texans. we got people from Maine and Alabama and Kansas, all kinds of places. There's lots and lots of people, um, Hawaii, Texas, I mean, I mean Hawaii and Alaska, there's a lot of people that are not from Texas. The converse, therefore, is false. If they're an American, then they're a Texan. Let's go on to the next example. Writing a conditional from a Venn diagram. This is the one that we're going to expect you to be fairly good at. Because again, we're going to go back to the if, p, then q. This is my if part. And this is my then part. This is my q. And this is my p. So we're, all we're going to do is just write if, p, then q. If it is a brown recluse, then it is a spider. That's exactly what we got here, right here. Now, there's all kinds of spiders out there that are not brown recluse. We've got tarantulas, we've got black widows, we've got all kinds of cool spiders. you got some spiders in the classroom hiding around your desk, probably. You're never more than a few feet away from a spider, as they say. This is a brown recluse. Do not get bit by it. They are, well, they have a pretty nasty reputation because they kind of can be bad for you if you get bit. Most people, you know, they get a little bit of rash. Uh, some people, their legs fall off, you know, their flesh eats away. They're pretty nasty, but they're not that aggressive. Um, just don't get bit by one. I don't want to get bit by one. Here's some unusual ones. We're not, we don't encounter this a lot, but it is a concept we want you to have some familiar film to know a little bit about going into Algebra 2. Here we have a sum, some adults, and the sum part is right here. This is the sum of part right here. Some adults, we have some adults and students overlapping. This is the un this is the intersection. We can call this the intersection. Okay. And that's sort of like my writing, close enough. And some adults are students. Well, some students are adults, so on. This one is a biconditional. You don't see anything intersecting. It is all together. It's basically the union intersection are the same thing. All parallel lines. Uh, it, it is a parallel line if and only if the lines never intersect. That's how you read the biconditional. And here we have a never. Never. Even though my cat wants to be a dog, it's not going to ever be a dog. No dogs are cats. No cats are dogs. Let's end with a little bit of syllogism here. And this is the if part. This is the then. So if it is a square, then it is a rectangle. Well, syllogism, we turn this into another if. So if it's a rectangle, then it's a parallelogram. Well, if it's a parallelogram, then it's a quadrilateral. So as you can see that we have if P, here we have our P, Q, R, and S. So if P, then Q, if Q, then R, if R, then S. We can just leapfrog all that and go straight to here. If it is a square, then it is a quadrilateral. All right, that ends it, and thus ended the life of my precious Jeep. That was Jeep number four. Um, it was my favorite Jeep of my four Jeeps. Well, my CJ5 was a lot of fun, but it had a terrible engine. Um, it's gone. It's totaled. I got the word on Friday. It is totaled. So I'm probably looking at Jeep number five, right? Or six, five, yeah. I'm going to miss it.